All right, welcome everyone. Today we have here a special bottle of, well, I don't know if it's shampoo or not. Definitely some kind of soap. This is a viewer request and let's call it a 100 sub special. Thanks for subscribing everyone. And this is a bottle we're gonna read which has a lot of words on it. So buckle up. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit if we can. Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap. Good. Family soap makers since 1858. I think the hardest part of this bottle will be making sure I get everything and not skipping everything. So I'm going to try to go kind of block by block. Certified Fair Trade made with organic oils. Ingredients, water, organic coconut oil, asterisk, potassium hydroxide, dagger, organic palm kernel oil, another asterisk, organic olive oil, asterisk, mentha arvensis, organic hemp oil, organic jojoba oil, mentha piperita, Citric acid, tocopherol. The asterisk means certified fair trade ingredients. The dagger means none remains after saponifying oils into soap and glycerin. 100% post-consumer recycled plastic bottle. Two to three times more concentrated than many leading liquid soaps cleansers, and body washes. Dilute with water. Clouds when cold. Put in warm water. Warm, warm room slash water. Clears at about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Warning. Don't drink soap. Keep out of eyes. If cap clogs, poke it clear. Do not squeeze bottle and shoot out soap. Soap can clog and spurt with pump dispensers. Flush eyes well with water for 15 minutes. Consult a physician if irritation persists. Dr. Bronner's All One are Magic Soaps. I'm going to go ahead and read this little sticker right here and then peel it off because there's stuff underneath it. X002KUNE03 Dr. Bronner Hemp Peppermint Oils certified, 25 ounces, new. Let's see if I can peel it off without. St oh no, stuff is getting stuck underneath. It's a disaster. This is. I have some of that goo gone stuff somewhere. How ironic is it that my bottle? Oops, that my bottle of goo gone has. Annoying stickers all over it. So if I soak this in the goo gone, it should hopefully come off and, well, hopefully it doesn't damage the label underneath it. All right, I'm going to put this on there. I've soaked that label with goo gone. I'll come back to it in a few minutes and pe try to peel it off after it's done some soaking. All right, let's read over here. The Second Coming of God's Law. Muhammad's Arabs, 1948, found Israel Essene scrolls and Einstein's Hillel prove that as no six-year-old can grow up free without the ABC, so certain can no 12-year-old survive free without the moral ABC that mason, tent, and sandal maker Rabbi Hillel taught carpenter Jesus to unite all mankind free in our eternal Father's great all one God faith, for we're all one or none. Listen, children, eternal Father, eternally one. Hmm. No detergents. Enjoy only two cosmetics, enough sleep, and Dr. Bronner's magic soap to clean body, mind, soul, spirit instantly uniting one. Absolute cleanliness is godliness. For facial packs, scalp, and soothing body rub, 
Add dash on bath towel in sink of hot water. Ring out. Lay over face and scalp. Massage with fingertips. Repeat three or four times till arms, legs, and all are rubbed. Always towards the heart. Rinse towel in plain hot water and massage again. Breathe deeply. Made in USA. Over 150 years and five generations of soap excellence. Feels unprofessional to be doing this in the middle of a video, but you guys get to see the process. There we go. That worked pretty good. Good job, Gugon. All right. Dilute. Dilute. Okay. One. One small squirt applied to wet hands or washcloth to wash hands, face, body. Two. Work one half tablespoon into wet hair. Rinse with Dr. Bronner's organic hair rinse. Three. Dilute one to ten with water for hand wash dishes best in soft water. Four. For laundry. One third to one half cup soap in large load. Add one half cup vinegar in rinse cycle. Five. Mop floor. One half cup soap in three gallons of hot water. Six. Wash dog by wetting fur, then massage soap in for good lather. Rinse thoroughly. Seven. A dash in bowl of water to remove residue from fruit and, fruit and veggies. Rinse clean. Eight. All purpose cleaner. Add one fourth cup of soap to quart of water in spray bottle. Nine, one tablespoon in quart of water to spray plants for bugs. Cayenne optional. Ten, shave face, underarms, legs, lather up five to ten drops in wet hands. Apply. Visit lisabronner.com for more uses. Dr. Bronner's is certified. Fair for life. And in very tiny words right there, it says fair trade. O-T-C-O, -O, not animal tested. Certified vegan. Vegan.org, non-GMO project. Verified non-GMO project.org. Contains at least 70% fair for life, fair trade certified ingredients. Item code number 1124296018787560641724M developed and distributed by Dr. Bronner's PO Box 1958 Vista California 92085 USA 18449372551 www.drbronner.com Oregon Tilth Certified Organic LSP E25 US702 Dr. Bronner's was founded in 1948 by Emanuel Bronner, a third generation German Jewish soap maker. He used the labels on his illogical ecological soaps to spread his message that we must realize our transcendent unity across religious, religious and ethnic divides or perish. We are all one or none. The business continues to be run by his family. All right. Let's start up here then. Absolute cleanliness is godliness. Teach the moral ABC that unites all mankind free, instantly six billion strong, and we're all one. Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one. As taught by the moral ABC, the real Rabbi Hillel taught Jesus to unite all mankind free. First, if I'm not for me, who am I? Nobody. Second, Yet if I'm only for me, what am I? Nothing. Third, if not now, when? Once more, unless constructive, selfish, I work hard perfecting first me, absolute nothing can help perfect me. Exceptions, none. Fourth, only hard work. God's law can save us, but if we teach only our clan, we're all hated. Then, 
So Hillel taught Jesus, we must teach friend and enemy, the whole human race, the full truth, hard work, free speech, press and profit sharing, moral ABCs, all one God faith, uniting the whole human race. For we're all one or none. As teach for 6,000 years, the African shepherd astronomers, Abraham and Israel, since the year one. Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one. Exceptions eternally, absolute none. Fifth, whatever unites mankind is better than whatever divides us. Yet, if absolute unselfish, I am not for me, I am not but classless, raceless, starving masses, a slave, never free nor brave, only if constructive self, selfish, I work hard perfecting first me, like every arctic owl, penguin, pilot, cat, swallow, beaver, bee, can I teach the moral ABCs of all one God faith, the real Rabbi Hillel taught Jesus to unite all mankind free. Sixth, absolute cleanliness is godliness. Balanced food from body, mind, soul, spirit is our medicine. Full truth our God, half truth our enemy. Hard work our salvation, unity our goal, free speech our weapon. All one, our soul. Self-discipline the key to freedom, unity, love unites all one above. For we're all one, as teach for 6,000 years, astronomers, Abraham and Israel, Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one. Exceptions eternally, absolute none. So, when your, fa- when your fellow man you measure, take him at his best. With that lever, lift him higher. Overlook the rest, for we're all one or none. Okay, I think we're getting the idea here. Seventh. Each swallow works hard to be a perfect pilot, provider, builder, trainer, teacher, lover, mate. No half-true hate. Have courage and smile, my friend. Think and act ten years ahead. Find the man with out fault. He's dead. Do one thing at a time. Work hard. Get done. Then teach friend and enemy how to work, love, unite all mankind free. Uniting one. All one. Face the world with a smile. Life is always worthwhile. To the fearless are given jewels. Keep out of the past. Disappointments won't last. Help unite mankind. We're wandering fools. Repetition is the key to knowledge. So help unite all one. Wait, this is ninth. Was eighth in here? It went from 7th to ninth. Did I miss something? Well, I don't really know what to do about that. I feel like I'm just going in order here. 7th, ninth. Free speech is man's only weapon against half-truth that denies free speech to smear, slay, slander, tax, and slave. Full truth, our only God, unites all mankind brave. If ten men guard free speech, brave. If ever one one religion unites all mankind, it will be by omitting all irrelevancies and redundancies added unto the faith in one almighty, all-embracing, ever-loving, ever-evolving, ever-recreating eternal God, and by absolute nothing else. America's founding father, Thomas Paine, eight books suppressed since 1799. Six million years of kill or be killed, half-true hate must be replaced by love and teach love, full truth, uniting all one God faith. Tenth, thank God we don't descend down from perfect Adam and Eve to sinful sinner, brother's keeper, divided slave. Thank God, united, armed, loving, hard, working, trained, brave, from dust we ascend up. Thank God for that. Our brother's teacher of the moral ABC, Mason, tent, and sandal maker, Hillel, taught carpenter Jesus to unite all mankind free. With it, every human being can evolve united, inspired, raised, trained, skilled, disciplined, guided, lightning-like by a new birth. Without it, we destroy God's spaceship Earth. 
Echnason Baha Ullah Buddha Confucius Moses Hillel Jesus Mohammed inspired every 76 years by the messenger of God's law Halley's Comet Teach, a fire, a mist, a planet, a crystal, a cell, a jellyfish, a dinosaur, caves where cavemen dwell, then a sense for work, love, song, art, play, law, beauty, a face turned up from the sod. There's no 11 either. Twelfth. A great teacher must first self-supporting be, like Allison M.D., Berlin Rabbi Baek, Marlin, Martin Buber, Carnegie, Marva Collins, Cousteau, Edison, Rabbi Liebman, Payne, Margaret Sanger, Spinoza, Strauss, Dr. Thomas Saz, Wendell Wilkie, Yadin, and Zamenhof, or he will turn our greatest teachings into spades with which to bury our people, all people, added Carpenter Jesus, entering manhood manhood but for two thousand years we rabbis never teach the moral abc that the real rabbi hillel taught jesus to unite the human race in astronomy's early in astronomy's eternally tremendous all one god faith for we're all one or none all one except exceptions eternally absolute none God bless the food and bless the loving hands that prepared it. Bless it to give us strength and bless that strength. So we use it to help unite the whole human race in thy kingdom, all one God faith. Thirteenth. Knowing the full truth that unites the human race and not teaching. Knowing the full truth that unites the human race and not teaching is all deathly guilt, learned Carpenter Jesus from Mason Rabbi Hillel. What an apology. We, we rabbis owe Israel, Marx, Mao, all mankind for not teaching astronomy's great all one God faith that with just six words eternally unites the human race, as teaches African shepherd astronomer Israel for 6,000 years. Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one, for on God's spaceship earth, with bomb and gun, we are all one or none. All one, all one. Exceptions eternally, absolute none. These are my the days, my friend. We know they'll never end. We'll work, sing, dance, love, marching on. Marching on. 25 fluid ounces, 739 milliliters. All right, that was 13th. Where do we go next? I don't know if it's really in order now. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm, I guess it's very easy to get lost on this label. I think there's actually not that much left. There's just um, this column here. I thought there was a lot more, but this first section I read wrapped around a lot of the bottle. You could see that I was turning it a lot. All right. Uh, from the Army, <coughs> excuse me, of Principles by Thomas Paine. From the Army of Principles by Thomas Paine, 1799. 76. Americanism is the knowledge of the loyalty, inspiration, or attachment to the army of principles of all one God faith, that lightning like unites the human race, for we're all one or none, exceptions eternally, absolute none. Noah Webster. We can no longer live half slave, half free. We unite the human race in all one God faith or perish by half true hate, for we're all one or none. Abraham Lincoln. Government, or that was 76 and 84. 93. Government, like fire, is our most useful servant, if fully controlled by us, its citizens. And government, exactly like fire, becomes our most destructive master, if not fully controlled by the open majority of its productive working citizens. 
Only united, armed, vigilant, and trained Swiss 6,000-year peace and freedom reigned. Exceptions? None. From The Army of Principles by George Washington. 95. I've never stooped so low as to hate any man, for I've learned that in the long run, all mankind needs, wants, loves, whatever good work you've done, regardless of your race, color, nationality, or religion. Booker T. Washington, born a slave. If ever one religion reunites God's legions, it'll be by omitting all half-truths and added on to all one God faith, that lightning like unites the human race for we're all one or none. Listen, children, eternal father, eternally one, as teach, since the year one astronomers Abraham to Muhammad, inspired by the sign of the Messiah, Halley's Comet. Halley's Comet? 99. An army of principles can penetrate where an army of soldiers cannot. It will succeed where diplomacy may fail. It will always unite the human race where all else divides. All one God faith. From American founding father, the, word, the world's first steel bridge builder, Thomas Paine's eight great books, not taught since 1799. 106. The trouble is that the wrong people are always the most energetic, united, and intense, driving the hard workers to lose in self-defense. That fact alone brings Hitler's and Stalin's to power, and that will only change when we rally, raise, train, evolve, unite the whole human race with the moral ABC in all one God faith. 107. The intensity of man's emotions is, is a greater driving force and more decisive than the sum total of his education, his money, plus the size of his brain. Proof? Einstein. The moral ABC, introduced by Kipling's If and Soapmaker Bronner. If you can talk to crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings and not lose that common touch. Oh, this is a poem by Kipling, isn't it? If neither loving friend nor enemy can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can work hard to teach each unforgiving minute all one God faith, Mason Hillel taught Carpenter Jesus to unite the human race. Come hell, hate, ban, you'll enjoy God's spaceship, earth, and do great work within it. And which is more, my son, you'll be a man, a man. <laughs> okay, it's a little modified. Sure, east is east and west is west, and never the twain shall meet. But there is neither east nor west, nor border, breed nor birth, once the moral ABC unites all mankind free on God's spaceship earth. Then, and only then, no matter how rough the trip, how charged with punishment the scroll, you are the captain of thy ship, the master of thy soul. Each day, like a bird, perfect thyself first to have courage and smile, my friend. Think and act ten years ahead, and the man without fault, he's dead. Do one thing at a time, work hard, get done. Then teach friend and enemy how to work and how to live, love, for God's love. God is love, uniting all one above in God's eternal all one God faith. To dream that impossible dream, to reach that unreachable star, Till all one, all one we are, to fight that unbeatable foe, to go where the brave dare not go, to fight the unrightable, to right the unrightable wrong, to love pure, chaste, from afar, to try till your arms are too weary, to reach that unreachable star, till all one, all one we are, for this is my goal, to reach that unreachable star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right without questions or pause, to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause, for I know that I follow this glorious quest. For I know that if I follow this glorious quest, my heart will lie peaceful and calm when I am laid to my rest. And I know that the world will be better for this, that one man, tortured, blinded, covered with scars, still strove with his last ounce of courage to reach that unreachable star, till united all one we are. These are the last, these are the days, my friend. We know they'll never end. 
We'll work, sing, dance, love, marching on. We live God's law today. We win free speech okay. With ten men in full truth, our only God, we rally raids, unite, all one, all one. First, a human being works hard to love his enemy, to help unite all mankind free, or that being is not yet human. So, go the second mile, hold the other cheek brave, not meek, for we're all one or none, all one, exceptions eternally none, absolute none. Second, twenty-second, small mind decay, average minds delay. Great minds teach all one today. Win victory and all stand by you. Give up, all deny you. Remember, the only difference between the brave and the coward, the brave has an ideal to fight for, such as teaching the moral ABC that at once unites the human race in all one God faith, as teach Abraham and Israel, inspired by the messenger of God's law, the sign of the Messiah, Halley's Comet, the blazing star of Abraham, Buddha, Bethlehem, and Mohammed. Abraham, David. Abraham, David, Buddha, Bethlehem, and Mohammed. 144. When half-truth is gone and we are dust, the full truth we print, protect, and teach alone, and teach alone lives on. Full truth is God, it must. Help teach the whole human race, the moral ABC of all one God faith. Lightning like six billion strong, and in our eternal Father's kingdom, we are all one. Listen, children, eternal Father, eternally one. So I think I read everything on here. There's a, I don't know if you can see it very well, there's a one right here on the bottom, and there's a, yep. Recycling symbol with a one in it, and it says Pete, P E T E. Still unopened. I'm kind of afraid of what kind of stuff will come flowing out of this when I open it. But uh, whew, that was a mouthful for sure. I don't know if I got everything, but I got a lot. I think I got everything. Wait, wait. Wait, I didn't read this part. That was close. Uh, certified under the USDA National Organic Program. No foaming agents. Dilute. Enjoy one soap for 18 different uses. Uses. Shave, shampoo, shower, bath, mop, launder, degrease. Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile is the very best soap for body, home, and spaceship Earth. Synthetic preservatives, detergents, foaming agents, none. Health is our greatest wealth. Enjoy body rub to stimulate body, mind, soul, spirit, and teach the Essene moral ABC, uniting all free in the shepherd astronomer's Israel's, shepherd astronomer Israel's greatest all one God faith. 100% biodegradable. Okay, now I think I've got everything. Wait, did I read this before? I think this was also covered by the label. In all we do, let us be generous, fair, and loving to Spaceship Earth and all its inhabitants, for we're all one or none. All one. Okay, now I... Oh, wait, there's some little... It says two one one zero one one eight seven three eight. I can't tell if there's more numbers down here. I don't think so though. I think we're good. All right. Thanks for listening. Cool bottle. Pretty wild. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Stay. Stay right there. Spaceship Park.